Hey Artastic Nation, the holiday seasons are coming, so let's get um, into creating some art that you can use for the holidays or for Christmas. Uh, we're going to be creating a bird with a present with a little Santa hat, and you can use this as either an art piece, you can turn it into a classroom project, uh, you can frame it for your home for a decoration, or even um, another thing you do is just uh, fold up your paper, do it on a front. Um, of a piece of paper, some cardstock, and then you can turn it into your own very custom Christmas card. Here we go. So the very first thing we want to do is on the one side of your paper, we're going to start off with drawing just the fluffy parts of your Santa hat. And then draw a curving triangle for the top of the hat, as well as um, adding the little puffy part there. Next we're going to simply draw the forefront of the bird's face, the beak out, curve it in, and just like that, little nostril there. And then at the end of the uh, beak there, we wanna add an eye. And I always draw just some little detail lines around the eye for some fur feather texture, sorry. This is a little puffy bird because birds often puff themselves up to keep warm in the snow. So we're gonna add some just some really little thin zigzag lines, just like that, very loose, uh, to add some fur texture, sorry, feather texture. Yeah. Next, we're going to add a wing. So the top of the wing is smooth, and I usually add just a few different uh, zigzag details in there. Add some curved lines for the top feathers that are quite long, and then we're gonna add the flight feathers just like that. Lovely. Next, we're gonna add the birds round body and it's going to come up and tuck in just under there like that and then at the top of the body we're going to add some feathers like there for the bottom of the tail and then the rest of the tail is going to come out like this simple we're going to add a little fuzzy bit there for the bottom of the thigh and then the legs are going to come out Obviously the high, the back leg is shorter than the forward one, and then they're going to come down. And we're going to add the bird's feet in, just like that. So he's hanging out in the snow there. Next, we're going to add a present. So we're going to add some dots just like that. We're gonna, in a diamond shape, we're gonna connect those dots. Pardon me. Now, I highly suggest you use a ruler. Uh, I don't quite use rulers that often, to be honest. Because they're straight enough for the way I like to do them. Plus, I don't, I mean, things aren't perfectly straight all the time. But if you can't draw a nearly straight line, then I highly suggest that you use a ruler, especially if you're beginning in drawing and you're still practicing how to draw. Okay, we want these two lines to be parallel with the top or two lines. So the bottom lines that you're drawing should be parallel, parallel, pardon me, with the top line. So this line should be parallel with this line. This line here should be parallel with that one. Okay, and that will help create some perspective in it. And of course, this line here needs to be a little bit longer than this line here. So that way you can create depth in your art piece. We're gonna draw a little bow. These lines will be again parallel. And then for the ones that, the part of the, sorry, I'm doing the ribbon right now. For the ribbon that goes this way, we want this line and this line to be parallel. So always making sure that our lines are parallel as we draw them. So you can decorate your present however you want. I've simply added a Ribbon, I'm gonna add some polka dots because this is very cheerful polka dotty paper. Obviously you find a lot of polka dot paper at Christmas, just kidding. But I'm not drawing detailed wrapping paper today. Good, awesome. Next on this lovely art piece, ooh, she got some feather texture here, sorry. Whoa, what's a bird without some texture? Lovely, here we go. Add some snow with some beautiful fluffy Curve and lines, just like so. And of course we need to add some snowflakes. 
So we're going to draw some circles in that background just here and there and we're going to color them in with some white pastel here in a moment. If you don't have pastel, please feel free to use white crayon. All right, got my white pastel. I am now going to color all of those lovely dots. Again, if you don't have pastel, grab yourself a crayon. If you don't have crayon, use some uh some glue. Some liquid glue. Well, just add not not the glue stick. Use a dot of white glue or some other clear one, and that will create a resist effect as well. Okay. See, there's lots of options. There's no right answer. You do what makes sense. We're just creating a barrier between that spot and the uh, background. I'm also going to do the fluff because that's going to be hard for me not to paint, and I really need that to be white for Santa's hat. Um, and I'm going to draw, I'm going to color in just a bit of the snow. So I'm just going to put this pastel on its side. If your pastel is dirty, and you can see where I've done this before, I simply just wipe my pastel on my hand. So that's why my hand looks kind of white there, it's because it's a tool. I'm just going to color in part of that ground with white. So that way it creates a barrier as well. Awesome! Now I'm going to do some of the finer details. The beak is going to be pretty hard to get a nice bright yellow and not have it go everywhere. So I'm also going to do the legs. So I'm going to color these with my pastel. But again, if you don't have pastel, use crayon or use a felt marker. Whatever makes you happy. I'm going to do the, mm, the bow, the ribbon. I'm going to do the ribbon. I think I'm going to do a green and red box. But you don't have to. You should do what makes you happy. I'm also going to do the polka dots green because why not? This is Christmas. It's all about them red and greens. Beautiful. Okay. Next. I forget. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. We're going to do a red Santa hat kind of a key feature in this art piece. Maybe I'll outline this a little bit. Cool. I'm not gonna color this whole bird with colors. I'm just adding just some highlights here. Oh, that's good. The rest I'm gonna paint, so no worries there. All right, we are on to painting. Life. All right, so for painting, we're gonna be using some watercolor paints. Um, you can use other paints, but watercolors are easier because they're a little bit more translucent and also the cleanup is a lot easier. As you can just take this whole palette and just let it dry, then stick it in a drawer. And then when you want to reuse it again, you just add water and then it's good to go. So that's why I enjoy using that. Um, but for now, um, if you don't have that, you can always water down your acrylic or tempera paint or use tempera paint cakes. Those are like hard puck ones. Those are good too. What use, what, what use what you got. And if you don't have any of that, you can simply just color everything. That's cool too if you don't want to paint. So you can just color with crayons or color with um, whatever. Or make your own watercolor paint, add a little bit of food dye into some water and then try painting with that. Who knows? Experiment, see what happens. Okay. Hmm, first we're gonna paint our bird. And I'm gonna first paint most of this little guy brown. This is no uh, real, I'm just making this guy up. So if you're wondering what kind of bird it is, it's called my imagination. <laughs> It's an imagination bird. But if you want to make it a real bird and make it a robin or something, go for it. I guess this mm, kind of looks like a robin. Let me give this little guy a orange. Ooh, dear. Okay, I'm gonna give this guy an orange belly. Blend it into the body there. Make it really cute, really cute, just like that. Awesome. 
Now we need some red and we're gonna paint this lovely present red and wow, check it out. Oh dear, don't check that out. Just wipe that off. <laughs> check it out. The green pastel is resisting all of that red paint. It's very cool. This is why I love, this is my go-to medium. For something easy, quick, and effective, my go-to is watercolor paints and pastels because when you're just learning, it's a really flexible medium and you can have a lot of fun with it. And then as you get older, you can start making things more complicated. Anyway, so we're painting this background blue. And as you notice, sometimes the paints kind of blend together together and that's fine. It's part of the, part of the excitement. If you want less dark, you can always just use mostly water and let that blend out there. I'm also going to add a little bit of blue under here and that way most of it's going to be repelled by the uh, pastel but it's going to pick up in areas where pastel didn't take and I think that's kind of cool. Give it a little bit of texture down there. Now if you have any areas that are a little bit too dark for your liking, don't worry. This is still wet and I can lift off some of it so we can just use a tissue or an old rag. Often I use just rags in my art and I just dab it. There you go. Not to worry. In fact, if you use different things like foil or you use tissue paper, you can even, this is one way of actually adding in texture. So you'll get texture of my rag on here. And that's pretty cool too. Oh, now I'm adding color everywhere. No worries. There you go. Awesome. So your art piece for Christmas is now done and this is a great thing. For more artastic tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new uh, videos come out. Uh, as well, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. That way I really, I really would appreciate that. It's gonna help me out a lot. Uh, as well, for uh, more tutorials that you can see or check out or resources that you can print, please head on over to my blog at MsArtastic.com. You can even search me on Google, find Ms. Artastic and click that. If you're an art, if you are an art teacher or just a teacher in general, uh, please uh, head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher Store. The link for that will be in the bar comment section below the video, and you're going to be able to see um, and find a lot of resources um, and art project tutorials for art teachers. I have close to 500 resources there that you can check out and use in your classroom, and they're ready to go, and you can even leave them for a sub. Hey teachers, guess what? I have a teacher apparel store now. So please uh, look in the link in the comment section below my video and you're going to find a link to my teacher apparel store called Ms. Artastic Collection where I have a lot of cool t-shirts and apparel for both general teachers and art teachers that you can wear to your classroom so you can have a real cool teacher shirt to wear. All right, folks, that's it. You have an artastic day.